Oh dear. All my equipment's breaking. This is this is going really well. This definitely isn't working out. No. You've had half an hour of your time. E. My whole power's gone. My cakes aren't gonna bake. Is this 1950s technology? Why yes, Christelle. Yes, it is. Good morning, evening or afternoon folks. How are we all doing? I'm Hayden. I'm here with National Grid today inside a giant tent. And we've got some pretty big personalities with us as well. Martin, Christelle. Hello. Hello, how are we all doing? Hello, mate. <laughs> My name's Christelle Pereira. I'm a cook, baker, a cookbook author and a broadcaster. All I know is that we're going to be baking. I don't know what. I don't know with what equipment. I'm very nervous, but I'm also quite excited to get stuck in it. It's been a while. Have you got any idea? We've got no idea what we're baking, right? If a professional baker doesn't know, then <laughs> <laughs> who stands a chance? Not me. Afternoon, how are we doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> yes, my name is Martin, uh, aka the Legom Chef, uh, self titled food waste disruptor. So, you're probably wondering what you're actually going to be baking today. That'd be handy. Please. Well, I have a secret recipe. Here we go. Okay. Quick pocket. <laughs> right here. Lovely. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ladies first. It is. Spag bowl. Tomato soup. Hold on. An eaten mess of Victoria sponge cake. That's two desserts <laughs> in one. So we're going to be having a little bit of a competition today. We're going to be using 1950s tech and you guys are going to be using that stuff. We're going to be pitting you against National Grid colleagues. We're going to be using up-to-date baking tech. Here they are, Sam and Amanda. Bring it on! <laughs> You've got an hour and 45 minutes. Let's bake! But why 1950s tech? Well, we're here to talk about the Great Grid Upgrade, the largest overhaul of the UK electricity grid since the 1950s. Back then, the overhaul of the grid allowed homes across the country to install and use more domestic appliances and electric gadgets, like these retro mixers. Now, as the UK transitions to cleaner energy, we'll all be using more electricity than ever before. And this means we need to connect more sources of renewable electricity to the grid. And the Great Grid Upgrade will allow us to deliver this. So Martin and Christelle are traveling back in time and using equipment from that era. 1950s, here we go. I mean, this thing does smell like it's gonna blow up, but we'll be all right. Can we caveat this that I'm not much of a baker? <laughs> I am a chef, I can cook, but baking, I mean, I don't know, it's not my strong point, I'm not very good at measuring things. One of those. What, my mixer won't turn on, someone help me. When you bake in a tent, it's very unpredictable. This is obscene, especially with older equipment. And then, oh, why won't this stay up? Apparently it's hand whisk time. This is not what I envisage doing today. I'm actually quite, quite concerned. Oh dear. No, no, no. My sieve is broken, okay. I can't help but notice the 50s tech is really playing up. Yeah, definitely. And I'm honestly, genuinely feeling so grateful for my lovely kitchen equipment I have at home because I never want to experience this again. Sam, 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 Sam. how's it going? I'm worried. Time at a critical moment, <laughs> just as I'm putting my cakes in. Confidence in my baking might be low, but my competitiveness, I'm hoping, will get me there and and put me up for the challenge. I want you to take a guess at how much of the UK's power demand is actually inside of the M25. Because obviously we're in London right wow. now. Wow, over half. 55. Over half, interesting, 55. Amanda? There's a lot of energy intensive industries mm. within the M25. You'd be surprised. I think it's lower than 50%. I'm going like 35. 35%. It's actually only 20%. Oh, wow. So the UK's power demand inside the M25 is 20%, 80% is the rest of the country. Interesting. Yeah. There's a lot going elsewhere. Yeah. If you yeah. could say one thing to somebody that's thinking about working in energy, what would you say? Come and join the National Grid family. Oh, that's firm. Yeah, that's a fluffy cloud. Fluffy cloud. Spoonful at a time, continue beating. You've seen the competition today, how confident do you feel? Oh, like 10 out of 10. I'm going to smash this. I must admit, your bench is definitely the most calm and collected of the, uh, the benches in here. Hey, I've got a 1950s whisk <laughs> over here that just leaks oil. Oh, dear. Does anyone know how to work the timer on the oven? I've been told apparently it's the 1950s. No, there's no, <laughs> there is no way I have to count 25 minutes in my head. There's a nice big clock up here. That's very overwhelming. Okay, so 25, okay. that's not going to end well. Uh, I'm going to read off some quick facts for you while you're doing some very, very uh, in-depth baking here. 75 times this year we've had our energy mix running on 95% fossil free energy. Wow. So if it happened to be one of those 30 minute periods now, this 1950s mixer would be running on fossil free energy and that's pretty cool. You guys are doing good things. We're doing good things. I believe in you. You, however, are doing terrible things. <laughs> So I know that National Grid are a big deal and they're the reason why I have electricity at home uh, so that I can actually do what I do for my job. We'd love to live in a world where we can do all of our baking on 
green energy, right? Why yeah, not? well, hopefully. I'm sure it won't be long before we can do that. Well, the ocean's there to be used. The wind in the North Sea is just ready to be harnessed, and that's what we're looking at doing. So we're bringing all this wind energy into the UK so we can run the grid on nice, clean, renewable energy. Gorgeous. There you Isn't go. Isn't that I got it. beautifully said? OK, folks, we've got an hour left, exactly. Oh, no. no pressure. Are we all this feeling OK? No. Yeah, fantastic. This is a car crash. We're just going to ignore Christelle over there, who sounds like it's going massively downhill. We're blaming it on the tech, oh, though. No. It's nothing on her baking ability at all, I promise. I'm going to turn them out and let them cool. Great. Oh, I've done the cooling rack upside down. <laughs> That's not the right sugar. Well, it's in now. <laughs> this isn't looking good. Oh, that's an interesting buttercream. It will taste good. <laughs> oh. It's not going to hold anything, is it? You know what they say, you never blame the tools. I'm definitely blaming the tools on this one. Oh, my God. I only divided my mixture between two tins, not three. Sam, did you divide your mixture between three? Three. Oh, God. I really oh, no. got it wrong. This is really wonky. Right, if I trim this top bit off. Ah. And the good thing about this, this is this is a chef's snack. Mm. No, it's not bad. Right then, folks, I don't want to panic you, but you have a total of 15 minutes remaining. 15 minutes? My meringue wasn't cooked. It was wet underneath. Oh, I forgot about the meringue. Oh! I mean, some people like the gooey bit of meringue, but no one likes a raw meringue. <laughs> Okay. A little surprise for you in the middle. Oh, yes. Ryland Bakers, we have a minute left. My career's on the line. <laughs> Call it quickly because they're starting to fall off. Oh, I've got a bug in mine. It's no longer vegan. I'm going to count you down from five. Ah! Oh, God! Four. Three. Two. One. And fingers down, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> right, guys. Well, I've got four cakes in front of me. Well, they look like cakes anyway. Should we go down the line? So we have got um, vanilla sponges with a hint of lemon. The Chantilly has got a tiny bit of almond and vanilla running through. Oh, that is so good. I, I want to go back for more now, but I'm very aware that I've got four more cakes. Let's move the competition out of the way. <laughs> oh, all right. I've gone for a true eaten mess because the meringue is mixed in with the cream. I've also added some elderflower essence to the cream. And then within the sponge mixture, I added orange blossom. So it's a very summery oh, flavour. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Very good. Getting the elderflower, actually. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's coming through. You have a mango and raspberry infused oh cake. Right, let's do this. OK. Yeah. Oh, I'm you getting the that. mango. You get that. Right. Martin, hit yes. with it. I've done a smarty cake. I'm impressed. And, then and the chocolate. Extras. Chocolate and, and coconut, just because I like it. And uh, you need a bit of meringue, of which course, I yeah, don't pop, think pop is it. very edible, but try it. There's so much going on. <laughs> <laughs> and this is going to be extremely difficult because all of the cakes are so nice. But I think, I think, Amanda, you're going to take it. I think <laughs> it's so pretty, it's so tasty. Oh and the winner gets crowned with oh, the chef. That's stuff. Thank there we you. go. Well done, guys. Obviously, everyone's not leaving empty handed because we don't want that. Got a magic cutting board. Oh, Let's hand these out. Wow. Oh, Thank you. That's amazing. Oh, that's that. awesome. Oh, I use chopping boards all the time. Amazing. Um, I think we had a pretty good time. Great yeah. day. Awesome. Should we have a bit of cake? Yes. Yeah. Let's do it. You know, at the end of the day, if we weren't doing our jobs at Grid, then we couldn't enjoy the things that we've done today because we need to be providing clean, reliable and affordable energy for our future so that we can enjoy the passion of things like baking. And I'm glad I didn't have the 1950s stuff. <laughs> Well, I think it just proves to show just how important it is to, to modernise. I think that, that applies 
throughout the country in terms of what we're doing with the great grid upgrades and also when you're doing that upgrade to make sure you've got the right people for the job as well as the tools. It's about time and I actually really understand the need for it now uh, because that was very, very yeah. stressful and traumatic. <laughs> yeah, I mean all the mod cons you have in the kitchen, so you have the mixer, the scales, yeah. the oven, all of that kind of stuff. It all relies on electricity and we, I think we take it for granted, so yeah. Yeah, it's going to be good. A great grid upgrade. Woo! <laughs> Want to learn a little bit more about the Great Grid Upgrade? Head to the National Grid website.